Do you want a hug? Hello, we're Ruth and Sean, and this is Kids Invent Stuff. The YouTube channel where we bring to life invention ideas designed by kids. And today, we're bringing to life six-year-old Elliot's wearable fireplace. Hello, my name is Elliot, and I am six years old, and my invention is a wearable fireplace. This is protection, and this is the fire. It would keep you warm when it's winter time. Why would you need protection? Because wouldn't want to catch on fire. What could possibly go wrong? I think I might be on fire. Ah! Kids invent stuff. It is absolutely freezing and it is so expensive to put the heating on at the moment. So Elliot's invention idea seems perfect. So we've got an old electric heater, which is made of steel. Wonderful. That's really important because Elliot's invention has actual fire in it. So we're going to need to like modify it and reinforce it so I can walk around with a fire and stay warm. So we've taken apart our electric stove and we've taken out these two bits. Now this is the heater that produces the heat for the electric stove and this is the bit that makes it look like it's on fire. But we don't need this bit because I'm actually going to be on fire. Hopefully not you. Yes. We don't need this bit. There's going to be real fire. These are power shears. I've never used them before and they're amazing. They have a motorized snippy snippy thing. They cut through steel like butter. Look at that. Also, they create these lovely, delightful pieces of springy steel. So we set about strengthening our fireplace by adding more metal and then it was time to weld. So on average, 50% of people who are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel. The bigger the channel, the bigger the bills we can do and the more kids inventions we can bring to life. So if you're watching this, please subscribe. So we welded on a chimney and we also put this little grate to make it look more like a real fire. And then it was time to give everything a good coat of paint. That was so easy. Power riveting for the win. So we've got these metal brackets that we're putting on our stove so that we can carry it and make it portable. And we put these little bits of silicon on the backs of these brackets to stop some of the heat, it won't stop all of it, but stop some of the heat from going through the brackets and to me. This is a baby carrier. It's not designed for dogs, but we're going to use it uh, instead of for carrying babies or dogs. We're going to use it to carry the fireplace strapped to roof. So for an extra level of protection, I'm going to be wearing my welding jacket because why not wear a piece of clothing that is designed to be fireproof? I weld in this thing, hot metal gets spat at me, I don't feel a thing. So I'm very excited to be wearing my welding jacket. The ultimate test. So this thing's gonna get quite hot and we don't want roof to get burnt. So the main defense we have against uh, this burning roof is we've got four layers of this special kiln insulation, which basically won't burn. It can't catch fire. Flashback. So this is a great example of how fireproof our matting is. They were sparks. On fire. It's not on fire. No fire, just dust. End of flashback. It's a really, really good insulator. It's really good at blocking the heat from coming from this to where Ruth is going to be. And I can vouch for this being really good because this is not the first time we've worn a wearable heating device because we made a wearable oven. It was a gas oven um, a few years ago. And we used some of this and it worked really, really well. And I did not get burned. Okay, so we're gonna light a fire inside and we've made some important design decisions for our chimney. We've made it so the chimney goes on a little journey over here, so it's out the way, not immediately in the front of Ruth's face. And we've made it so it's nice and tall, so that when the fire is lit, the smoke will go up the chimney and out the top, and it's higher than Ruth's head, so she doesn't get smoked out, doesn't all end up in her face. So how are you feeling about strapping fire to me, Sean? <laughs> so normally people don't wear fires, for good reason, um, but we are building this so the people at home don't have to. A good way of looking at it. It's done. Time to suit up and light a fire. Here we are outside in the cold and down here we have some fire lighting equipment. Next to it, we have some fire fighting equipment. And then next to that, we have roof. 
wearing a fireplace. Beautiful day for a lovely little bonfire roof. It's actually cold, so I'm really looking forward to a little bit of warm. It just depends how much warm. This isn't something you've probably ever seen before in a video. Someone building a fire while someone's wearing a fire. I get to stay warm. Looks really cool, by the way. This is what it's come to in this energy crisis. What could possibly go wrong? I mean... I mean, let's list obvious. all the things the on the screen one. very quickly that could go wrong. You're the fire starter. <laughs> Twisted fire starter. I'm lit. You're lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. Ruth is wearing a fire. She can't actually tell she's wearing it, but I she can see. I can't see it. There's a, there are flames. Do you know, if you'd not said, <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue at the moment. It's Ruth wearing oh, look, a smoke fireplace. Out the front. How, are you, how are you feeling on the toastiness front? Good. Um, there's a bit more smoke coming out the front than I might have anticipated. I mean, the chimney's working a treat. I mean, this is warm. Just prove to the people at home that you are definitely wearing oh, a fire. Wearing it's not CGI, fire. it's not fake. Here is Ruth wearing a fire. From here, it's just nice and warm. From the front, it's an actual fire. Don't do this at home, people. Do you want a hug? Uh, <laughs> toasty, toasty. Okay, I've got the perfect idea. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. Just toasty. casually toasting the marshmallows, powered by Ruth. <laughs> oh, look at that beauty. Look oh at it. Oh my god. <laughs> You like a marshmallow, Ruth? I love a marshmallow, it's a bit <laughs> but yeah. Mm, that's good. Very good. <sighs> I think it's fair to say this is a successful invention. This is a great invention. Mm. I'm just going for a walk. It's slow, it's quite... <laughs> it's not the lightest thing I've ever worn. <laughs> I feel like with a bit of practice, you could get better at walking places with it. Ooh. Amazingly, our uh, steel brackets that attach this to roof, they're not actually getting that warm because we've got that bit of um, that bit of silicon in there. It's not actually getting that hot, despite the fact there's a whole fire in there. That's <laughs> a proper fire. <laughs> so I'm wearing a fire. Time to check in with our fire safety expert. Oh, I can only Oh yeah, but, but it's actually, I don't even know how warm it is. That's brilliant, that is. It's very warm. You wish I had that on my hair. Oh yeah, you could do with this. <laughs> okay, time to test putting out the wearable fire. We've got a water-filled fire extinguisher. Let's give it a go. Here we go, pull the pen out. Water fire extinguisher to extinguish the wearable fire. <laughs> Job done. That was efficient. Fire extinguishers are great. <laughs> Fire extinguishers work. I mean, the fire's out, but you can never be too safe. <laughs> One of the things I do know about fire extinguishers, if it's a powder, it's a laxative. <laughs> Water's fine. Powder. Uh -uh. I'm out of steam train. That's what I've turned into. <laughs> Ruth, did you have a bit of an accident there? Oh. <laughs> I think the invention got the better of Ruth. This is awesome. Thank you, Elliot. This is such a wonderfully civilised invention. If you know of any kids whose invention should be brought to life, like Elliot's invention, then go to our website, submit an invention idea. Who knows, we could be building and testing it on the channel. And a massive thank you to all the amazing people who support the channel on Patreon. If you would like to help out and support what we do, then there is a link in the description and on screen. And if you're new here, welcome. We build lots of crazy things. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Mmm, toasty.